Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today we're going to take a look at farming primal fires. Uh, I know there's been a lot of coverage on these lately, but I think it's for a good reason. Uh, most of the coverage seems to be on group farming them though, and I want to take a look and see if solo farming is worth it. So the first thing we're going to do, let's take a look at and see what they're actually going for on the AH. So 281. Uh, is the minimum buyout. We got a regional sale average at 327. So not too bad. Pretty pretty high, really. Um, 1526 sale rate, that's good. That's good. That means these are going to move fast. You're not going to be sitting on them for too long. So I'm going to go ahead and take us over to where we're farming the Primal Fire at, and we'll see how much we can make in an hour doing this. All right, guys, we made it, and the place we are farming is the Throne of Kill Jaden uh, up here in Hellfire Peninsula. Easiest way to get there, port from your main city in the Shatrath, fly right over. Uh, pretty easy. Uh, now, I want to preface this. This is a farm that's generally done as a group because you can trigger hyper spawns pretty easily with it if you keep people positioned uh, throughout this area. I'm going to be doing it solo, so our goal is not going to be quite as high as if you were doing it as a group. But we'll see what we come up with. If you do want to get into those groups, it's worth noting. Check out the communities uh, area here. You'll you'll find some people there that will definitely farm with you. And go into the bigger gold farmers discords. Like uh, Sudan Albatross has an excellent, excellent discord if you're looking for groups for farming. So I'm going to do this farm, I'm going to sell all the grays and all the useless stuff, and then we'll count our primal fires. Just to be transparent, we're at 220,617 gold at the start of this. And I'm going to go ahead and start it now. I'll see you guys at the end of the hour. Alright guys, so I just finished up the solid hour of solo farming primal fires here. Um, and let's go over the results. So, what we came out with was 26 primal fires and 9 modes of fires. I'm just going to count that as 27 just to make the math easy for us. We That brings us to about 7,857 gold in an hour just off the primal fires alone, which is pretty killer. Uh, on top of that, we farmed 91... Yeah, 91 gold uh, just in raw raw junk sales uh, to the vendor. So that brings us to a total here of 7,678 gold in an hour, which is pretty darn good, especially for a solo farm. It's better than you're going to get in a dungeon. Uh, I will say this is better in a group. Again, like I, I want to reiterate that. If you can do this in a five-man, make sure you do. Uh, we did get some greens uh, that may sell and we got this one boe that may sell it's going to take some time it's transmog um and i know not everybody's into that so i don't factor that into my calculations here uh and then let's see what loot appraiser actually gave us total it gave us twenty nine thousand two hundred ninety three. we all know that's an inflated number uh but if you like loot appraiser that's what i got after an hour again we finished at seven thousand eight hundred and fifty seven gold uh, after the primal fires sell at a rate of 281 gold each, which was the minimum buyout that we saw at the start of this video. Um, yeah. If you guys have any questions, comments, or want to let me know what you think, let me know down below. And if you like the videos, hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to bring them out regularly for you. And yeah, I hope you all have a good day. Thanks for watching.